We're back on the call with John Parker Wilson, former Alabama quarterback, and we're talking about quarterbacks today, Alabama's quarterback Jalen Hurts. So there's been some criticism after two weeks of football. This last game against Fresno State, 282 total offensive yards, only 128 through the air. Of course, 154, you do the math on the feet. Pretty impressive performance still. What are your thoughts, Nick Saban, going to his defense this week? What do you think about his overall performance thus far two weeks into the season? So really love Coach Saban, you know, having his players back. Um, talking about Jalen's production this year. Should it be throwing the ball? Should it be running the ball more? Look, I think we're doing a great job of building on what made Alabama's offense so successful last year, and that was yeah. the threat of having Jalen Hurts run the ball. I think he's gotten better in the passing game. I think Dayball is definitely helping that out, having some more intricate down the field passes. We saw a little bit of that this week. Let's not forget, though, we're not going to give all of our secrets away against Fresno State or Colorado State. So still some things to work on that during practice. But, but I really love the dynamic of the offense we have. Look, it's really tough to defend against a quarterback that can drop back and pass and also have the ability to pull down and run it. When you throw Damian Harris next to him, Bo Scarborough next to him, it's a pretty dynamic offense that the defensive coordinators are gonna have to try to combat. So I really like what they're trying to do. Building on what was successful with Lane Kiffin, going to sprinkle some more passes into it. I really like what the offense is doing this year. You make a great point not throwing the whole book out there against Fresno State. I think we'll see much of the same against Colorado State this week. But what do you think is uh, kind of building on this criticism? Why is it that so many people want to see Jalen Hurts throw the ball if he's capable of running? Right. I, I think it's it's just the way we've always done things is we want our quarterback to throw. It's an Alabama it. thing. Right. Or, or not even an Alabama thing, but but if you see the quarterback throw for three touchdowns, 250 yards, no picks, everybody's happy. Right. Look, quarterback, we're judged on one thing, and that's winning the game. We went out 141 to 10 this game, put up some good points. Um, we're able to play a lot of different guys. So it, it's gonna the stat line's going to be different. And if Jalen Hurts runs the ball for over 100 yards in any game, we're probably in a really good position to win it, just like this game. So whether he's doing it with a read option, the run pass options, or a drop back, points are points. And, and as a quarterback, we'd never apologize for scoring points. Great call, JP. That was great. I love that. Okay. That was really good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Roll Tide.